Welcome back. The National Safety Council says opioids are now more likely to kill people than car crashes. And in 2017 alone, they killed a staggering 70,000 Americans. Just this month, the state of Massachusetts is suing the makers of OxyContin, alleging the company, Purdue Pharma, pushed higher doses of the addictive painkiller. So how do we fix all of this? Yesterday, Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates introduced the Medical Cannabis Research Act of 2019. The legislation aims to unlock the, quote, potential to research the cures offered by medical cannabis, among them opioid addiction, uh, not to mention certain seizure disorders. Congressman Gates joins me once again. Welcome back, sir. Oh, thank you, Kennedy. And the problem with the federal government's response to the opioid problem is that they always think the answer is more government and not more freedom. And when we look in states that have had medical marijuana programs, in Minnesota, for example, we saw a 38% reduction in opioid use. In New Mexico, there was a 70% reduction in all scheduled drugs that were used once patients had access to medical cannabis. So it seems like a no-brainer to me. I just don't know why it's taken the federal government so long to recognize what's so obvious. Well, what's interesting is you have a president whose reflexes seem to be uh, going toward criminal justice reform and deregulation, but then he appoints another attorney general who obviously has great personal disdain for cannabis. And when William Barr was asked about it, he even said, you know, uh, you have to have one uniform law. And his uh, desire would be that marijuana stays mm -hmm. federally illegal and scheduled so harshly. So you have a few roadblocks to overcome before you can unleash the power that only medical research will give you. I think it'll be a lot easier when the White House is actually talking to the Department of Justice because of the Russia investigation. That relationship was so chilled that normal direction that a White House could give the department, allowing states to be able to experiment and really realize the full federalist model where they could try different things and best practices would emerge. I think that you're going to see more of that direction coming from the White House. In every conversation I've had with the president about medical cannabis, mm -hmm. he's been very supportive. But Jeff Sessions did so much to get in the oh, way. We really couldn't worst. get the ball rolling. No, I understand, and I, I, I don't hopeful, know though. the William Barr will be that much better. And obviously in Congress, uh, there should be enough Republicans and Democrats that you should be able yeah. to reschedule it. So is what's more important, rescheduling it or having legislation like this that allows more than one research institution to figure out what you can reasonably do with the plant? I think that research is what unlocks more acceptance, particularly by the older Republicans in Congress who have typically blocked cannabis reform. Descheduling makes a ton of sense. I've co-sponsored legislation to do that, but a lot of the older Republicans say, well, there's not enough research to justify rescheduling. Isn't that unreal? And then they stand in the way of the research. Yes. So it's so stupid to say that we won't allow common sense proposals because there's not enough research, and then they have laws that block the research. So again, I just think we should act like adults here. Republicans and Democrats ought to be able to work on this together. Together. And at least Mr. Barr in his confirmation hearing said he wouldn't do what Jeff Sessions did, mm -hmm. and that is threaten the programs that are actually helping people get off deadly opioids in states all across the country. Yeah, what and, a great and, solution. Ooh, More freedom for people. We, we talked about this the other night. When people do have a legitimate and legal alternative, they'll, you know, yeah. it, it shows that they will go to that first before they go to illegal opioids where they don't know what's in it and when heroin is well, know saturated with, with fentanyl yeah but even people who know that addiction is a disease and you know that is something that we have learned and and that's i don't know how much neuroscience uh pharma or purdue pharma had done before they were making the statements that they did about oxycontin but that stuff is offensive yeah, it really is, and they're going to be held to account for that conduct. But at the end of the day, the best way to fight addiction is to not get people addicted in the first place. Yes. And so if you have low, lower likelihood of addiction with something natural like medical cannabis, our government should be rushing to make that available to people rather than having stupid laws in effect that are related to antiquated dogmas rather than modern research. Yeah, and expensive drugs that uh, the Medicare has to pay for for seniors and you know help veterans yeah. with PTSD and anxiety and other chronic conditions Matt Gates thank you for your work I appreciate it good to talk to you